you really blown my mind with this question. I yeah. This is it. <laughs> Going, we don't need roads. Gentlemen, I genuinely absolutely fucking love this movie, so seriously, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. Um, there's a really great moment in the movie where a couple of characters name drop Michael Bay movies, which I thought was fantastic. They talk about yeah. Bad Boys and The Rock, which made me realize that Michael Bay exists somewhere out there in the ambulance universe. Do you think your two characters are fans of Michael Bay? Huh. Sure. I mean, military, what, driving what's his, fast. What's his favorite Michael Bay movie? Ooh, that's a. He's prob he's probably Will is probably a Transformers guy. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Interesting. You've really blown my mind with this question. I. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a long press tour. You're starting to, to you're, you're starting to make me realize that I don't think I've did enough backstory work you know on my I, character. You, you know what I love from the movie? Though? I love that line. Uh, you, uh, didn't it win like a Grammy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very clearly, Danny you know, doesn't know right, anything about. So, so. Yeah, I don't think he's yeah. really aware of uh, the difference between, obviously, mu a movie or music or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, he's one of those guys that's like probably seen The Rock, but you'd have to explain to him what the movie is before. He clearly saw Braveheart. Yes. So he and he probably thinks that Michael Bay directed. Directed. Braveheart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good. I think that's a good answer. Also, I would love to see the Michael Bay version of Braveheart. Would you? Just a random explosions for no reason in like 16th century Scotland. Everything handheld and just yeah. like, I don't know. The drone shots? There'd be something to it. I know for a movie like this, any, ton of, any kind of big action movie, you have to undergo a certain degree of training, whether it's how to drive or how to hold a gun properly. And you don't forget those skills just because a movie's over. So thinking about all the skills you've learned your entire career, what's the coolest thing that you guys can still do just because a character you played needed to know how to do it? I got two. Tell me. It's uh, like disco dancing, which was which is kind of cool. Sure. Mm. And then trapeze. Wow, nice. Yeah. Can I get just a small sample of the disco dancing? Nah. Uh -uh. All right. All right. It was a legitimate shot, though. Yeah. Let's be honest. I'm still learning, trying to learn how to walk and chew gum at the same time, so I don't really think I have anything that I retained. Probably boxing. Jump yeah. rope. Jumping rope. Though. Jumping yeah. rope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Can you still do that? The to the degree that you were doing it. A jumping rope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, not for I, as long, yeah. sure. I don't think. Sure. And if I threw you in the boxing ring? No, no? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Unless you, could, you have some money uh, not on me. And then, and then we'll I would take do the dive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take I would the definitely like, do that. Like yeah. Bruce Willis in Pulp Fiction, just take the, just just take the dive. Take the dive. Um, you know, because these two characters are so different, it was so interesting watching you guys interact. But I'm curious, was there ever a, a moment where you wondered what it would have been like to have played the other character? And Absolutely. is there a scene sure, sure. that you most would have wanted to be the other character? Just throughout the whole movie, you know, it was just... Really? Yeah, well, I mean, why not put it on and, you know, try on that suit? Um, you think, know, yeah. I thought, I thought I, I, you know, Will was so... Will lived in a contained space, mm -hmm. and Danny was the, was lived in the, in the, in, in the opposite space. So mm -hmm. Danny had a, Danny uh, had a lot of what Will craved, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I was, a, I was aware of that, so... For sure, for sure. That was for sure. that was something that I would have thought about. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing that makes the story interesting, at least for me, was just like, <clears throat> even though they both went different ways and they both seem like two different people and, you know, they, they share a lot of things, they both could kind of move one way or the other. They love each other a lot. I, I, but, yeah, I, I think playing a character, particularly as an actor, who, like, the intentions are always like a bit skewed and you're not like as soon as you see another actor playing one of those cl clearer intentions or you know they're different you kind of long for that mm -hmm. you know so um there's a scene um i i love the scene uh i i love the scene where his character calls his wife you know i love that scene mm -hmm. it's a really emotional scene yeah. so that's a great like scene that. i want to cut you guys loose on this because one of the things i always love about michael bay movies is that while there are th these insane unbelievable like action sequences they are very grounded because the characters that are in them are kind of normal everyday guys like nick cage and the rock and and all like the roughnecks and armageddon and you guys are kind of just these guys i feel like i would know so sort of having been through this experience is there any part of you that walked away thinking like i i could rob a bank like i could i could do this no, no. 
Because if you walked in, no one would believe it was you guys. They would be like, it's, it's a guy who looks like Jake Gyllenhaal? Like, but it couldn't possibly be Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, you have the guy? best disguise. Yeah, who, is who, is, who is that guy? The guy that looks like the guy that looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, you know, when you think about a heist, it's such a... I mean, that's why I think the movies are so great. It's so right. full of attention. I, don't, I couldn't do it. Just not. not with that attitude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Jake. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Next time I'll, I'll look you up to, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I not like it was, with it was, that <laughs> attitude, Jill and Hall. It's time for you to start robbing banks. I, I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. Gentlemen, seriously, it's, just, it's fucking great to be back in person. Thank so you. seriously, good to talk to you guys. And nice yeah. to not talk to you via Zoom. Yeah, it's good so, to see you in person. Seriously, bless you guys. Movie was fantastic, and I appreciate your time. Thank Solid. You. Appreciate right, thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Hey, seriously, thank right. you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> Oh, we're going, we don't need roads.